Hello and welcome to the third assignment, Introduction to Sliding Bearings and Lubricants. My name is Xander Chitlin and this is my project. The meaning bearing is an applied force to a machine or structure that refers to the contacting surface through which a load is transmitted. It is used when relative motion happens between two surfaces and it, is, and it is desirable to minimize friction and wear. Any interposed substance that minimizes friction is a lubricant. Lubricants are usually liquids, but they can also be solids or gases, such as graphite or pressurized air. Lubricants are usually characterized as their viscosity or other properties. Oil lubricants have names designated to these properties. Types of lubricant additives. In modern day oils usually contain additives which boost certain properties allowing for the part that the oil is being used on to function better and last longer. Some of the additives are viscosity index improvers which helps sustain the viscosity with different temperatures, deformants, which resist forming, uh, foaming from alligated high-speed machinery, oxidation inhibitors, which resist oxidation at high temperatures, corrosion inhibitors, which prevents corrosion on metal surfaces, and many more. A certain type of lubricant are greases. They have been thickened in order to provide special properties uh, towards the part. And they are usually used when lubricant is required to stay in one position, particularly when there is frequent lubrication or when others are difficult to find and are too costly. Types of lubrication. Lubricants are classified according to the degree it separates the surface that slides together. There are three main types of lubricants. The first is the hydrodynamic lubrication, which is completely separated by fluid and is where no wear and tear occurs to the parts in the system. The space between the surfaces are usually 0.0082 0.02 millimeters apart and the coefficient coefficient of friction is usually between 0.002 and 0.01. The second type of lubrication is mixed film lubrication. It is when the surface are intermediately in contact uh, which leaves mild wear and tear over long periods of time. The coefficient of friction during this lubrication is usually between 0.004 and 0.1. The final type of lubrication is boundary lubrication. It has surface contact that is continuous and extensive, but due to constant lubrication, it reduces the friction and wear and tear of the system. The coefficient between the boundary lubrication and the part surfaces are usually 0.05 to 0.2. Types of sliding bearings, also known as plane bearings. Sliding bearings require direct sliding of the load carrying member on its support to function. Sliding bearings are different from rolling element bearings because they use fluid between the two surfaces to function instead of balls and needles. Sliding bearings can also be manufactured as split parts or single cylinder pieces called bushings. The two types of sliding bearings are journal bearings, also known as sleeve bearings, which are cylindrical and support radial loads, and thrust bearings, which are generally flat and support loads in the direction of the shaft axis. 
Concepts and Mechanics of Hydrodynamic Lubrication. Hydrodynamic lubrication is a three-step process with different speeds at rest, slow rotation, and fast rotation. In figure A, it shows a loaded journal bearing at rest. The bearing clearance is filled with oil, but the load has squeezed out all the oil from the bottom of the film. Figure B shows slow clockwise rotation of the shaft that will cause it to roll to the right. It shows continuous slow rotation that would cause the shaft to stay in the same position, allowing a small amount of fluid to flow to the bottom. This is boundary lubrication. In figure C, it shows fast rotation. If the shaft is rotating at a speed that is increasing, the pressure is built and the shaft starts to float. Under, under suitable conditions, the minimum film thickness, HO, is reached, and this is hydrodynamic lubrication. Hydrodynamic lubrication is also dependent on three main variables, viscosity, rotating speed, and the bearing unit load. Viscosity is a dependent variable because the higher the viscosity of the fluid, the lower the rotating speed needs to be to float the journal, which the load is put on. Rotating speed is also a dependent variable because the higher the rotating speed is, the lower the viscosity is needed to float the journal. The bearing unit load is also a dependent variable because it is defined as the load W divided by the bearing projected area, which is the journal diameter D times the bearing length L. It is dependent because the smaller the bearing unit load is, the lower the speed rotation has to be and the viscosity needs to be to float the journal and allow the bearing to work. Thank you for listening to my presentation. If you want to learn more about sliding bearings, one good example to look at is on the crankshaft of a engine.